Hi, my name is Pierre. I'm a sales engineer with Actuate, currently based in Paris. I'm going to take you through a short demo. Our topic today will be page variables and page level events. These features of BERT are useful for advanced page management, such as individual group page numbering, first and last page contents, or page level aggregation. Page variables are created using the Data Explorer view and can be report variables or page variables. Report variables are evaluated when the report is complete, and page variables are evaluated at the time a page is written. Page level events fire for each page created when using two tasks, run, then render, to create a report. The following slide shows a sequence of events. After all items are created on a page, the on-page start event for the report will be called, followed by the on-page start event for the master page. Then, the on-page break event is called for each item on a page. Finally, the on-page end event is called for the master page, then the report. The page gets written and BERT goes to the next page. In the example I'm going to build, I want to display the name of the first and last customer for each page in the header of the master page. I will need to add script to three methods, the on-page start of the report, the on-page break of the customer name data item, and the on-page end of the master page. Let's see how it works in Bird Designer. I start with a simple listing report that shows all records in the customer table. In the Data Explorer, I create three page variables. First name and last name will hold the first and last customer name for each page of my report. The variable name range will be the concatenation of first and last name. Now I move to the page event scripting. On the on-page start method of the report, I set first name and last name to null every time a page needs to be created. Notice that the report context has getter and setter methods to work with page variables. Then I select the on-page break method of the customer name data item. This method is called every time a customer name is rendered on the page. The first time it is called for each page, first name will be null and will then receive the value of the first customer for that page. Last name will be overwritten every time, ensuring that we get the last customer name on the last iteration of the on-page break method. Scripting the on-page end of the master page is actually optional. I use it here simply to concatenate the first and last name into one string separated by a hyphen and store the result in the name range page variable. Writing the result on the master page header is easy. Simply drag and drop the variable auto text field to the header section of the master page and assign the name range page variable to it. Running the report shows that the first and last customer displayed in the table is added to the, to the header of the page. I hope you found that video interesting, and don't forget to visit birdexchange.org for more information on BERT.